Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Kilts of Culture. Mm -hmm. I'm Rocky. This is Eric. Yo. Today, special treat. In honor of Irish Coffee Day, is it? What's the... It was Coffee Day. Coffee like, Day. Oh, Irish Coffee Day specifically. Irish Coffee okay. Day okay. specifically. When it's, is it? What's uh, January 25th. January 25th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is also... Also... Robert Burns' birthday. Burns night. So, I yes. don't know. It sounds like somebody was trying to hop on the bandwagon. Should be like, yeah, shouldn't yeah. it be like... Uh, Hot toddy day then as well. Yeah. I, I could see Irish coffee being very useful after a full <clears throat> burn supper because that's a very filling meal. It's very true. So having a bit of a pick me up afterwards would be true. Not a bad thing. Very good. That being said, coffee. Um. So <laughs> we have homemade Irish coffee. That's right. Eric's grandpa's recipe, or one he found online. Um, Irish coffee is actually really simple. There's a lot of different variations to the recipe. And uh, so we're gonna do one which is kind of the average of the simple versions. I'm using my revised Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide, circa 1947. So that's as legit as it gets because uh, Irish coffee was invented sometime around either World War II or just after. One of the stories is that it was invented by a barkeep who was working out of an airport in County Limerick. And there was a flight that got delayed and the guests were all left uh, haggard and feeling miserable and so to basically do him a solid he invented this drink which is basically adding uh, li liquor Irish whiskey to a, uh, a nice sweet cup of coffee as a pick-me-up. Uh, there's other stories of its origins but that's one of the most popular ones. So first thing we need obviously is we're gonna make some coffee and for the coffee I'm gonna use my French press just because this usually calls for a good rich coffee um, one of the recommendations is to use uh, Cafe Americano, which is basically espresso watered down, uh, or basically a French roast, something, you know, relatively rich, something nutty, something with some flavor to it. Uh, as far as the whiskey is concerned, we use uh, Jameson Caskmates. Uh, the more you spend on Irish whiskey, the better it tastes. This one is okay. Um, I happen to like the flavor that comes from the fact that they use the, uh, the stout barrels for the aging, so. It's a good, it's a good flavor. I think the stout color will add a little flavor to the drink. And then, of course, we have our whipped cream. One of the things I'll tell you about the cream for Irish coffee is you want to do whipped cream, but you don't want it to be too stiff. You want to have some liquid cream in there, which you can kind of stir into the coffee. You don't want it to be really, really thick. And of course, I do not recommend using something out of a can like Ready Whip unless you're in a hurry. And if you're really in that much of a hurry. You might as well make it using Bailey's Irish Cream, which is a liqueur, which was kind of invented as a shortcut for making this drink super fast, as opposed to doing it the way we're doing it now. And to sweeten the coffee, teaspoon of brown sugar. I'm going to take a little bit of our liquid whipped cream, a little bit in there. Recipes usually call for between one and two ounces of the whiskey. I'm just going to do one ounce. four ounces of coffee. Recipes call for about two ounces. That's kind of interesting to try and measure with a whipped product. And again, notice this is like not really high peak cream. It's a little bit liquidy, so they'll dissolve more into the coffee. You're supposed to drink the coffee through the cream, if at all possible. is a simple way to make Irish coffee. This is gonna be an interesting one for me. I am generally not a fan of hot alcohol, so like hot alcohol drinks. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm curious, it looks delicious. So I really am curious how this is gonna go. Well, we'll find out. Bottoms up. Hopefully it won't make you sick. Mac, you yeah. wanna come and get yours in Mr. Corlett's? Mac? 
This will not be piping hot because I did have to make them, you know, a bit oh, before the show five started. Five minutes ago. But, yeah. Yeah. In fact, if you're really serious, you actually preheat. Here you go. Uh, you actually preheat the mugs with hot water. All right, thank uh, you. You're very welcome. Hmm. Grab yours. Yep. New tart keeps flipping over. Okay. It's interesting. In five minutes. Oh, I guess that's the brown sugar on the bottom. Yeah, there's a bit of separation. Okay. Yeah, and there is a, some of the sugar did not dissolve. Should we swirl it or something? Yeah, if I had a swizzle, I might swizzle it. Swizzle do it. This, this, again, comes from making it okay. quickly before a show. But and how, how does one drink? You're supposed, to sip it, you're supposed to sip it through the cream. It is, so, yes. Yeah. It's drunk through the cream. Mm -hmm. So let Indeed. the cream be the filter. Let the cream get you creamed. Okay. Or drunk, Smelling it. Drunk through your cream. I smell. I'm just going to smell like cream. No, I smell Jameson's. You smell the Jameson? Yep. Yeah. Smell it smells like sweet mm -hmm. and Jameson's. Yeah, there's a there's like a teaspoon of brown sugar in here, so it's gonna be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not like an over there's not a ton of odor to it. It's like not a strong scent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't smell like smell like coffee. Like I love coffee. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't smell strong like coffee. Probably mm -hmm. it's it's all hidden under the cream. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So Slancha. Slancha ma. Mm. <coughs> Taste the Jamesons. I'm happy. I wasn't expecting the cream to be so thick, so when I sucked it in, kind of like shot into my back of my throat. Mm. Yeah, watch that. Yeah, that organic whipped cream will get you every time. Are we gonna have like mustaches throughout the show now? I was wondering about that, actually. Yeah, I was wondering about yeah. Let me stop have a cream mustache. I've got another filter. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you built in stir, Mac? Yeah. Just the... I'm not, you know, to be honest, I don't think I've ever made Irish coffee at home like this. So I've, I've made other coffee drinks. Like I've made more, uh, more <coughs> tiki cocktail type coffee drinks, but um, this is actually relatively simple compared to some of the coffee cocktails I've made. But, but I, I like it. I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Do we do the ratings for this like we do for the for regular drinks? Sure. Okay. He's still confused by it. I think he is. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, if I'm honest, I'm trying to find something I like about it. It's one of those things where I like all of the elements on their own, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but when you mix it all together... It makes an unholy terror in my mouth. Wow. Wow. Well, Is I that too harsh? It's, yeah, it was a little harsh, dude. The, no, it's I, like the cream. Like the cream looks delicious. Brown sugar, I love. Mm -hmm. Like if I just like tasted the cream, I was like, okay. Then it, 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 the hot alcohol just gets to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Some people do have a reaction to warm alcohol. It's true. Now, Kirk really? is, huh. is asking if you did make the uh, whipped cream. Yeah. Yeah, this is a organic whipping cream I get from a local store, and it's flavored with a, a dash of maple syrup and a dash of uh, vanilla. But I have a kitchen-made mixer, so making whipped cream is actually no big deal. Hold on. Just the cream. See, the cream itself is good. Mm -hmm. I like the brown sugar in it. Mm -hmm. And I, I love coffee. I think I needed to make it hotter so that my sugar was sure to dissolve. I will say that that was probably a tactical error on my part. Yeah, and if I pre-warmed the mugs and done that, I think you the, the coffee would be sweeter, the beverage overall would be sweeter. You're going to get a sugar rush at the very end, basically, if you have the guts to finish it. Right. What do you guys think? I I think when you drink it actually through the cream, you get it you get it straight through the cream. It is much better when you when and I think I'm getting what you're getting when as the glass is getting lower, or the the fluid is getting lower in there. The cream is, is just kind of falling to the top, so when I tip the glass now, now it the, cream, goes towards the, back. the cream is now moving up, and the liquid's coming underneath of it. Mm -hmm. So now I'm getting that strong shot of the Jameson like you were you were right. getting. So I think now that it's this way, I'm getting more of how you, you, were, how you <coughs> are. But when I first start off, I really liked it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Coraline. I really liked the cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth, fair disclosure Coraline is not a drinker so she, she she's really she's taking one for the team by drinking anything alcoholic on the show here but. we love abusing our staff it's fun yeah that's why you have a business that's why you have a start exactly. a company basically yeah 
Um, what did you have? What did you? You had some notes. I was trying to remember some notes and I couldn't remember them all. And you had some notes on it, right, Mac? Oh, we gotta yeah. we gotta rate it too, one to ten. Yeah, true. Um, sorry, we're getting we're getting some stuff in. Uh, <sighs> Uh, let's see, we got one, uh, said maybe we should have, uh, should have shook it, should have shook it, and it should be poured on a spoon, and not, yes. not, uh, you are correct. in. You're correct. There is a, there is a, uh, there's a technique where you pour it on a spoon, or pour it over a spoon to do that, and I also didn't do that. Um, I have horrible luck, I haven't I've ever tried to do that. You, yeah, yeah. Like, trying to do layers in a cocktail, like yeah. drizzling something over a spoon? Oh. Well, hey, Guinness, man. you're supposed to pour over a spoon, too. So. True, true. So, <clears throat> hey, guys, this is my first attempt. Cut me some slack. I um, think it's a gallon attempt. Mac, we didn't go over scores. Oh, scores. One to ten. Um, going through the cream, definitely I will give that a, I'll give that an, uh, an 8.5. The, uh, if when the cream's not there, then I'm going to, I'll lower that to more of like a 5.3. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. All about, the dairy, all about the dairy products. Mm -hmm. um, this is to say nothing of Eric's ability as a bartender. <laughs> like a one. <laughs> <laughs> but the cream, like a nine. Great. I have, I have lots of leftover whipped cream you can yeah, take some home. I'll have that. Just back here with a spoon just <laughs> eating it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a little pie and a lot of whipped cream. Um, I'm going to give it. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half because I know I can do better. Okay. I'm, I'm very happy with it, but I know I can mix this a little bit better with a little practice. So, I do think a, a lot of the recipes just call for straight sugar, and this recipe call for brown sugar, and I think that does make a difference. Just so you, just if you're gonna try at home, I do recommend using the brown sugar. Okay, I'll I'll do it this way. <laughs> the cream itself, say about Nate. The brown sugar, like brown sugar, especially with the cream, mm -hmm. eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jameson's, six and a half. I'll relieve you of this then. Coffee, Americano, or regular, like the, the coffee itself, because um, I smelled it when you were actually making it. Mm -hmm. I didn't taste it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna approximate. It's good coffee. I good would coffee. say. Eight and a half, nine, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Okay. Um, everything together. One point eight. Like I. Wow. I wouldn't. <laughs> it's it's not my bag. I wouldn't. That's cool. That, that's cool. You're I honest. wouldn't do it. And again, it's. I'm saying it's. It doesn't matter whether it's yours, or it's anyone else's. I'd I probably understand. give it about the same. I understand. It's yeah. just like it's it's not your kind of food. So yeah. Okay. Indeed. Okay. Very good. So at least I got points for using good ingredients, guys. Indeed. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Happy right. Irish Coffee Day. Traditional Irish coffee, using my finger quotations there, um, doesn't have Baileys. Nope. Um, when they mm -hmm. when Eric brought in the ingredients, he's loading them up, and I'm like, uh, where's your Baileys? And he's like, oh, it doesn't have Baileys. And what? <laughs> 